Hello there Aquarius, welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Net. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of April 2022. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below. And if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, there is a link to my website in the description box below the video. This is a general love reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Please keep an open mind. Remember, not all of the messages will be for every single person who watches. So just keep an open mind. So let's see what's in your overall energy this month. You've got the Moon. You will be guided through darkness. So there's some sort of fear, confusion. Um, this is feminine energy. It's Cancerian energy. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, or you may have cancer in your chart. Trust your intuition, Aquarius. Um, a lot of you are highly, highly intuitive um, little creatures. And, um, wow. And uh, I feel like there's some sort of obstacles or blockages that you're working through at this time. But things will be coming together for you soon. Just stay vigilant. Um, if this is a dark time for you and you're a lot of uncertainty, just know that you'll figure it out. Okay, off the bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Eight of Cups. Does this Eight of Cups make my ass look fat? Somebody's walking away from a situation that they invested a lot of emotional energy into. Seeking something more, seeking that higher love, water, energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then you've got the Hierophant, your karmic lessons, your beliefs, tradition, marriage, commitment, uh, charismatic leader, it's Taurus energy. And then you've got the chariot, more Cancer energy. So you've got a, a Cancer and a Taurus here. Um, and then you've got the lover's Gemini energy. So a lot of major spiritual lessons that are going on around relationships for you at this time. Um, I feel like you're making a decision to go in a new direction because whatever you were doing before or the way that you were feeling before, it's just not enough. You want something that's committed. I think some of you are looking for marriage and you will be successful. Um, you need to follow your heart here. Someone could have had you in a third party situation here. Or somebody feels like a third wheel or you're like the go between between a Cancer and a Taurus. Um, so you need to, you know, just choose, choose love over fear. Um, let your heart be your guide. That's the best advice I can see here. Um, you're going to rise above. You are destined for success. You're in control here. Aquarius. Okay. Moving forward in a balanced, strong direction here. And your your mind is made up. You know what you want and you're going to go for it. And you're just not going to let anyone uh, tell you no. You're doing what you want to do, which is good. So you're definitely in control here. So let's get some clarification on these major cards. So definitely learning a lot of lessons about, you know, marching to the beat of your own drum and being a leader and not a follower. And, uh, you know, just keeping, keeping your eyes on the prize. Clarify the moon. You will be guided through darkness. There could be a Cancerian here that you might be consulting with who might be you know, helping you figure out a, a tough situation here. Yeah, here's the Hierophant again. Let your past lessons, what lessons have you learned from your other relationships? Let that guide you, okay? Got a, a little kids here, students and the teacher, okay? This is five, five is a number of change. So there's gonna be a lot of changes taking place within the next month during, uh, I would say, between Taurus and Cancer season. So it would be between May and mid-July. Um, 
But yeah, it's like you might actually meet someone who is also commitment commitment focused and also very good looking. Got the two of wands here. These two are looking at each other. They're each holding their wand of passion in their hand. I think you're going to meet somebody that is going to be significant and you both are looking for the same type of relationship, something that's committed. But you both might be butting heads and you both might be very, very stubborn here. Why is this Hierophant here twice? Death, yeah, massive change. Some of you might be leaving behind a whatever you've done before, a changing jobs. Maybe you're doing something that's non-traditional or you're, you know, whatever you believed in before no longer serves. You need to drop the old way of thinking and believing when it comes to relationships. It's Scorpio energy. Clarify death with the Hierophant. We could also hear um, of the passing of a significant spiritual leader that is out in public. Um like the Dalai Lama, the Pope, somebody like that, um, we may hear about their passing. That's, I don't know why somebody needed to hear that message, but that's what I'm picking up. Yeah, and then we've got the Eight of Wands. This is fast forward movement, things taking off. This is unbridled passion. It could be passionate back and forth communication. Um, somebody could be... Um, traveling by air um there's been some sort of change of plans um some sort of diversion but you this this indicates um success in uh love and career okay if you change if you're willing to change direction and follow your own goals your own dreams and change your way of thinking you're going to be very successful, very successful. Clarify this chariot. Yep, the magician. So there's somebody here, again, you got, you're dealing with someone who's very, very charismatic, highly skilled, and you're going to take all of your skills and you're going to be very, very successful. You're in control. Um, you're also a master manifest. You're able to... Um, Make your own dreams come true and make your own reality. Um, and you're, you're blessed with the skills. This is the self, the ego, how you identify. And you see yourself as someone who's very successful when it comes to relationships. You know, whether it's a business relationship, um, family relationship, or work. It's mercurial energy. Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aries. Clarify these messages here. Yep, the tower. There's some sort of divine intervention. You're learning a lot of spiritual lessons right now, um, Aquarius. Um, there's some sort of realization about your power and how, how awesome you are. Um, but also make sure that whatever you're building is built on a solid foundation because whatever was built on sand with rubber bands and popsicle sticks is going to come crashing down, okay? So don't delude yourself. See through the bullshit. Um, and you're going to be guided in a new direction. There's some sort of breakthrough here. If you're in a stuck place, there's a breakthrough. And you're going to get some, some news coming in. Um, somebody is studying something. Um, this could also have to do with a child. Communicate some sort of um, quick text message that comes in out of the blue. Possibly from a, a Cancer, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, whatever. Um, doing your homework, and I think I think you're going to discover something. I think you might be um, doing some research. You could be looking at somebody's profile online that you maybe you're interested in and realize something about this person. Clarify the lovers. Again, this is a general reading. Yep, so you're looking for something long-term where there's a strong soulmate connection, and you can see a future with this person. Again, it could be a Gemini. Um, could be anybody. 
but there, you're learning a lot of spiritual lessons right now. And everything you're learning, you're going to take with you further on down the road when you go in this new direction. You're going to meet somebody who's wanting the same thing you do. And they're very, very charming and very sexy, very good looking. Just make sure that they're not pulling you into a third party situation. Two's a party, three's a crowd. All right, oops, wrong deck. I want to get some advice for you. Let's get some advice. Advice for Aquarius, please, Spirit, for April 2022. All right, yep, there is some sort, this is like a wake-up call. Um, I feel like you've somebody's been slow to take action here because there's a snail at the end of her bed. And, uh, yeah, you need to take action here. There's going to be some sort of breakthrough and swift forward movement after feeling stuck. But you need to take action. You can't uh, procrastinate any longer. Some sort of completion here to this sense of being stuck and seeking something that's emotionally fulfilling. You've got the power to choose. It's your decision. Let's get some love messages on this for you. All right, your first love message is new love. Destiny is guiding you to new love. Trust your intuition. Okay, so it looks like you're going to meet somebody here. You're at a crossroads. Chance, roll the dice. This love is here to take a chance. Playing for keeps is anyone's luck. Okay, you need to take a gamble here. You can't, you're not going to meet somebody sitting in the dark in your bedroom like a mushroom here talking to snails. <laughs> and then you've got rendezvous. Have faith and believe a meeting between you two will take place. You could meet somebody while you're traveling. Um, if you're taking a trip by air, as indicated here, and also with the chariot, you could meet somebody on the plane or wherever you're going. And then you have missing you, thoughts of you on their mind, considering feelings and emotions. And this could be somebody else's energy where they regret something from the past or they miss you. And uh, you walked away because it wasn't any good. And now they're kind of kicking themselves and they could be the ones spying on you online and realize all of a sudden what they could have had with you. Again, general reading. The only way to know.